All right, everybody, I'm going to be quick and dirty tonight. I uh, got a busy day in front of me tomorrow. So please note that when I give my predictions, I have a ton of notes that I might have wanted to go over, but uh, I just don't have the time. So I'm just going to be giving you the the uh, the lowdown. Going to be quick. So here we go. I want to go over my, uh, my week two predictions. So in the first game, uh, we had... Um, Calgary and Ottawa, I predicted a 28-18 in favor of Calgary. Score ended up being 26-15 Calgary, so not too bad, not too bad. Um, second up, we had um, Edmonton and BC. Now, I had said that I thought Edmonton was going to play a little bit better. A little bit dead wrong there. However, uh, I predicted 23-17 uh, uh, in favor of BC and... Uh, Turned out to be a, a shutout, first one in a long time in the CFL, 22-0 to zero in favor of BC, of course. Uh, next up, we got uh, Winnipeg and Saskatchewan. Um, I actually thought um, Saskatchewan was going to have a harder time. I mean, yes, they still lost, but I was wrong about their total. I had I had 34-18 Winnipeg in favor of Winnipeg. Ended up being 45-27, so Saskatchewan did a little bit better, but... Uh, they still lost. Um, I mean, I expected that they were probably going to lose, but um, they did better than I thought, so that's good. Um, the final game is the one I really cared about, and uh, I was right about the score, just uh, wrong about uh, who it was going to be for. So we had uh, the hated, i oh, sorry, not hated. I'm a Hamilton fan, but the uh, the champs, uh, Toronto Argonauts, um, they were um, playing Hamilton, of course. I had it 20, uh, pardon me, 32 to 18 in favor of Hamilton, but it ended up being 20, uh, 32, um, 14 in favor of Toronto. So that uh, was the only game I got wrong and that's the only game I wanted to get right, but what are you going to do? So, um, without further ado, let's move forward to my week three predictions in the CFO. Okay. So, uh, week three predictions. Again, I, I had a lot of notes that I wanted to go through, but, uh, we'll keep this one short. And uh, again, throw anything you want in the comments. I'd, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about uh, my predictions and, and what you think is going to happen. But let's go quick here. We got uh, the first game, uh, British Columbia at Winnipeg. And I have this one as the first kind of upset of the season. I, I think that British Columbia is going to walk into uh, BC and win a close one. Uh, sorry, try that again. I think that BC is going to go into Winnipeg and uh, win a close one. I got it 23-20. Uh, to 20 in favor of BC. Next game up is uh, Montreal at Hamilton. Um, I don't think these games are in order. They might be, but uh, like order of the schedule. So don't go by my uh, video here if you're looking at exact schedule. But Montreal ha at Hamilton, Hamilton's home opener. Of course, we had the Bo Levi Mitchell is out. We have some players coming in. Uh, Van Zyl is coming in on the line um, after being on the injured list. There's a few moving parts here. But I think uh, Hamilton's going to win their home opener. I think it's going to be 27-17 in favor of Hamilton. Next game up is uh, Saskatchewan and Calgary. Um, I have, um, it's at Calgary. I have uh, Saskatchewan winning this game. It's another uh, road team I think is going to win here. So I got 24-21 in favor of Saskatchewan. I think they're going to go into Calgary and win. Uh, could be wrong about that? Throw it in the comments. Tell me what you think. Last game, um, Edmonton versus, um, sorry, it's the Argonauts at Edmonton. And I think you're going to have um, another upset here, as in Edmonton's going to be upset because they're going to lose again. Um, I don't think this one's going to be close. I got 32 to 10 in favor of the Argos. Um, I don't even know if, uh, I don't even know if Edmonton's going to score 10. Um, I just don't, I just want to give them the benefit of the doubt that there's not going to be a, a second shutout. So those are my um, predictions for week three. I wanted to throw a quick note in here at the end, though, because I was um, corrected uh, by a, a viewer. Uh, I want to throw this in here because I, I just I can't believe I overlooked this either. So here we have uh, uh, Trubinowski, our uh, wide receiver for Hamilton. Hamilton born, um, had a fantastic catch in the game against the Argos. How it did not make it into my... Uh, my last episode is beyond me, Hamilton boy. First touchdown in the CFL. Congratulations to him. And he got the two-point convert. So, you know, I was corrected, and I am 
I am humbled. Um, I'll pay closer attention to that stuff going forward. But a fantastic catch. I don't know if you saw it, if you caught the game. Uh, one foot was about three inches inside of the uh, the line in the end zone. It was a great catch, and I just didn't mention it. just glossed over it. So apologies to, to him, and uh, congratulations on the catch. So I'm going to leave it there. Please leave your comments down. I know there's a little bit of controversy in my picks this week, so let's see how close I am. Have a great night, and uh, enjoy the football this weekend. Thank <laughs> you.